Welcome back, Truth Seeker. I want to talk about what YouTube is doing to the truth community. And I want to use the character Richie from Boston for a shining example. At the end of 2017, Richie from Boston has nearly 170,000 subscribers, meaning that out of all the YouTube truth channels, he had the best 2017. A year ago at this time, he had 20,000 subscribers, meaning his channel's grown by nearly 150,000, at least according to the stats. Consider at the beginning of 2016, when I first found out who he was, he had 10,000 subscribers. So he doubled his subscribers in 2016. He went from 10,000 to 20,000. Then this year, nearly to 170,000. The way I found out about Richie from Boston was in January of 2016. Back then I had around 15,000 subscribers. My channel grew a lot after the death of Prince because I predicted his death in February of 2016. A lot of people caught on to my work after that, after what I exposed about Super Bowl 50 that came true also in February of 2016. There was a reason that my channel grew a lot in 2016. But how I found out about Richie from Boston was through the Oregon standoff. Richie from Boston was telling people that, you know, they needed to gather up and they needed to travel out to Oregon and stand their ground against the federal government. But then he found my work on the Oregon standoff, where I predicted from the day it began, the day it would end. I said, watch, this standoff will last 41 days. It'll end February 11th, which is exactly what happened. And the way I found out about Richie is he made a video about me. And he said, oh, thank God for this guy. He's teaching some number thing. And I almost got taken by this whole PSYOP. I thought this was real. I guess I have a lot to learn. And I saw that video and I thought, oh, nice. An honest guy out in Boston. A guy who saw my work. It helped him out and saved him from participating in the PSYOP. Well... Started paying attention a little bit to this Richie from Boston guy, and I realized, you know, he might be a nice guy, but he really doesn't have a clue about what's going on in the world. He's taken by all these psyops. He's talking a lot of nonsense. He thinks CERN's going to blow up the world. I saw that he was one of these men who started a YouTube channel. He's looking for answers. He has more questions than answers. And in fact, it doesn't seem like he has any answers. It seems like he's just a guy who sees that something's wrong in the world, but he can't put his finger on it. And then I noticed in time that he was a salesman. He was selling all these different things. And then what really bothered me was late last year, he put out a video, a live stream, where he wasn't showing his face. You couldn't see anything going on in the room he was in. But he started telling people his computer caught on fire. And he was making it seem like the government was trying to hack him. And he goes, there's literally flames coming out of my computer. Then he tried to raise money. And then he did raise money. People started sending this guy money. Because <laughs> they believed the, the government had hacked him and set his computer on fire. But, you know... If your computer was really hacked and set on fire, you wouldn't be able to stay on a live stream for two minutes and explain the flames coming out of it and then do your regular sign-off as Richie did. And <coughs> at the time, there were a lot of uh, the shill channels doing these false fundraisers. You had the scariest movie ever, put up an x-ray of a chicken and said it was his own body that was broken and he needed your money. He was trying to raise $30,000 off of that. There were all these scammers. So I put out a video calling out these people. And Montagraph then released a video. And he said Richie from Boston was his employee. And he didn't like me talking about Richie from Boston the way I was. And there would be consequences. And then he put out the threat for me on Christmas Eve. And I just laughed it off at the time, but the next thing I knew on Christmas Eve, I had a car crashing into my house. And I had a giant hole in my house. And then I had a three month battle with an insurance company to get them to pay for the damage, which wasn't fixed until May 
of 2017 after having my house crashed into Christmas Eve of 2016. And if you can recall, Richie from Boston made a couple videos saying I was a shill and the crash at my house was staged by me and I did that to my own house to scam people. And then Russian Vids, another shill, made a few videos about it. And then all these channels started making videos about how a car crashing into my house, you know, was a scam by me. Meanwhile, all these people are doing real scams. And here I just got attacked. And now I have this exact same shill network that was literally scamming people saying I'm the scammer. You know, none of them called out anybody else for any of these scams. But then they said, wanted to say what happened to me was a real scam. And keep in mind, not only did I show that there was a hole in my house and exactly what had happened, I also showed the police report that was filed. And none of it was done by me because I wasn't here when it had happened. I had traveled to Portland a few hours south to see my family, had to drive straight back because as soon as I got into town, I got the call that there was a hole in my house. So anyway, at that same time, Richie from Boston uploaded a video and he said, this Zachary K. Hubbard guy, he thinks he's something. Well, I'm going to show him that his channel's nothing. I'm going to blow by him and subscribers. And when he said that, at the end of last year, I had 40-some thousand subscribers and he had 20,000. So I had more than twice as many subscribers as him. And for good reason. I mean, my channel puts out good information that's provable. Richie from Boston, he's never put out anything worthwhile in his life. All he does is put out false fear-mongering. Oh, this could be a day that the tyrants kill us all. I mean, he just said that that was going to happen on the winter solstice. I mean, that's all this guy does is just put out false bullshit, false fear-mongering. But anyway, consider he had 20,000 subscribers. He'd been on YouTube for seven years. So he averaged 3,000 subscribers a year. I'd been on for two years and had 40-some thousand. I averaged over 20,000 a year. How is somebody, you know, who has less subscribers that's been here for way longer going to blow by somebody whose channel grows at a way faster rate? And for good reason, you know. In 2016, I called every single sports championship correctly from before the season began. That would be the NBA, the MLB, where I guaranteed the Cavs would beat the Warriors, the Cubs would win the World Series, and the Denver Broncos would beat the Carolina Panthers. Called all those things correctly from the start of the season plus I called out the dates of a lot of false flags that happened you know and that came on the back of calling a lot of things right in 2015 and 2014 there's a reason for people to be following my work so anyway Richie from Boston puts out this guarantee that he's gonna blow by me and subscribers and then in 2017 his channel just started to rapidly accelerate by the end of January he had the same amount of subscribers as me. You know, his channel had more than doubled in a month. And now it's continued to grow by more than, you know, 10, 20,000 subscribers a month. All the way up to 170,000. What's sad about this guy is he's now doing like a scam once a month. The other day, somebody passed his video on to me. He said he was raising money for a single mother. He said there's a single mother that asked me to sell these t-shirts about Google censorship. He goes, I'm going to give all the money to her. <laughs> what? Uh, there's a single mother out there that asked you to sell t-shirts about Google censorship and you're going to give all the money to her. You know, this is the same guy who said his computer was on fire on a live stream and talked about it for two minutes. I dare anyone to set their computer on fire and see how long it takes for the whole thing to short out. You know, about a month ago, somebody passed on a video that he was raising money for a guy in a hospital. Understand, Richie from Boston is a total fraud and scam artist. His only reason to be on YouTube is to make money from it. And keep in mind, around the same time that he found my channel, he uh, commented on how he liked that I didn't have ads on my channel. And he said the same thing in his video. He goes, you'll never see ads on my channel either. And then it was like a month later that his channel had ads, you know? So this is a guy with no credibility. And he tries to act like he's some good Samaritan. He says he's raising money for other people that he's going to give to him. I mean, ask yourself, why wouldn't these people who need this money set up their own GoFundMe? Why would you ever ask Richie from Boston to raise money for you? 
This guy's a complete shyster, a complete fraud. And it seems that he is a true part of the YouTube shill network. And it looks like he's deeper into the game in 2017 since his channel has now been invested in having the bonus subs. If you go to any of his videos, they get like 10,000 views in an hour. They supposedly all have 1,000 likes. You know, they got all these people commenting, what a great video, Richie, even though he said absolutely nothing. And I want you to guys to see this piece about the YouTube shill network. Without exception, every single one of them claims to be a Christian and about Jesus. Through all of these shysters, through all of these frauds, through all of these liars, you can see the true purpose of religion. Religion has always been for the purpose of exploiting sheep and for putting money in the collection plate. And Richie tries to appeal to sheep. You know, he asks for money in the collection plate all the time. He's got ads on the videos. Because he now gets the, the way YouTube set up is when you get views and when you get likes it boosts your rating in the feed so every single day I log on to YouTube I, I see in in my feed Richie from Boston his latest video even though I don't watch his channel well sometimes I'll I'll click on a video because somebody says look at the scam he's up to now but I mean in, in the last year I've probably clicked on maybe 10 of Richie's videos just to laugh at the latest scam and just Think, oh my God. But despite that, you know, his videos just always show up in my feed. I, I meet, you know, I click on all of Derek's <coughs> videos, Jamatronator. I click on all the Chagosi Truth videos. Their videos don't show up in my feed. I have to go search for their videos. You know, I actively watch their videos, the people who make the Jamatria videos, but they don't come up in my feed. But Richie from Boston, he's there every day. And I'm always laughing, too, at the titles, like this one. I have entered another dimension. And poor Richie, he really does think the word another is spelled like this. The reason Google and the Shill Network want a person like Richie is because he makes the truth community look retarded. And honestly, this guy is essentially now the face of the YouTube truth community. He has almost the most subscribers. Well, there's Dabu72, another idiot, another shill. Montagraph last year when he was addressing me, if you saw the videos Montagraph was making with his black and white mask when he was putting out his threats towards me, he said that he employs Dabu7 and Richie from Boston. You know, Montagraph. He's like the, the evil boss of the shill network. And to Montagraph's credit, you know, when he actually makes videos on his main channel, his videos, they're, they're pretty good. I, I can give Montagraph credit. I can tell he's an intelligent man. He's a sick man. He's a demented man. But when he makes a video about a topic, it's not bad. You know, he actually speaks with a lot of truth in his main channel. But then you get into his backup channels where he does all of his evil shit. He's got the... If you don't know who Montagraph is, he has all these backup channels. And they start with this lightning bolt and a woman all duct taped with her mouth. It's sick. You know? But his main channel, he presents himself as a nice human being with an intelligent opinion on most things. But then he says he's also the employee of this shill network. Enter the stars... Or not the employee, but the boss. He says these people are his employees. So. Anyway, Richie, reality check time, buddy. <laughs> Richie from Boston yesterday claimed that Boston had a power outage because they didn't want Richie from Boston to do his live stream. He said that to his video. <laughs> he said that to his, his subscriber base yesterday. Yeah, I think they knocked out the power in Boston because they didn't want me doing my live stream. <laughs> I mean, this guy's serious. Richie from Boston. I mean, what are your accomplishments, dude? What have you ever shown about anything? This guy that just talks from his ass and has no knowledge, nothing to show for himself, just preaches every wackadoodle conspiracy theory there is, you know? 
CERN, CERN, CERN. Any of you guys getting taken by this CERN stuff, that is the shill community. You know? It is embarrassing. You know? It's embarrassing. Imagine if YouTube had allowed my channel to grow instead of deleting it 10 times since they have, like, June. You know? My channel's been deleted 10 times since June of 2017. 10 times. And each time I try to start a new channel, <laughs> here's what it looks like when you're actually being censored. I mean, how's Richie going to say Google's censoring him when his channel grows by 150,000 subscribers? But this is what it looks like when you're really censored. If you find my channel and you click on it, it looks like there's no content on my channel. This channel doesn't have any content. And there's nothing I can do about this. But if you click on the videos, they show up. You know? But the thing is, every time I've created a new channel after I get deleted again and again, YouTube makes it harder to get subscribers. The first time I recreated my channel, it shot up to 5,000 relatively quick, and then it was deleted right away. I only had that channel for like a week. And then I started another channel. And I remember when you did the search for Zachary K. Hubbard, it wouldn't even come up. My new channel, it took like a month for it to even show. And all that was up at the time was every video saying, Zachary K. Hubbard shield, Zachary K. Hubbard exposed. You know, you couldn't even find my new channel. So this is what real censorship looks like. For any of you who think Richie from Boston is real you know you're the real reason I've made this video for any of you donating to this guy get, getting sucked in by his false charities you know get a clue seriously you're supporting a total con artist a total scammer a guy that represents what religion's really all about there's a reason that every shill on YouTube says they're about Jesus All right, truth seeker, until next time.